It's no secret that there are many football fans among the world's celebrities. And today we will tell you about the most popular TikToker Habi Lamay's connection to our beloved game. Favorite players, collaborations with footballers, and the blogger's skills with the ball. All this will be shown in today's video. So, subscribe to Inside Football and let's get started! For those who don't know who Habi Lamay is, let us briefly explain. He's an Italian TikToker with Senigli's roots. Habi lost his job after the pandemic started and began making TikTok videos. He quickly gained popularity making fun of complex life hacks. He sarcastically showed the clumsiness of such life hacks accompanied by a signature hand gesture. And yes, he is not Habi Lame, as many people call him, but Habi Lame. Since no language is used in his videos, there are no barriers to watching these TikToks around the world. These helped the guy to become a worldwide famous TikToker, and in 2023, he turned out to be the most followed TikToker on the planet. At the moment, he has over 160 million followers. Although he is a native of Senegal, Habi has been living in Italy since he was one year old. He said that he identifies himself as 100% Italian, which means that his love for football is in his blood. This can be seen in his huge number of collaborations with football players, attending football matches and playing in all-star games. What is most interesting is which club Habi supports. Well, he hasn't admitted it himself, but we can assume that this club is Juventus. It is logical that it would be a team from the blogger's homeland. The fact is that Habi has many collaborations with football stars, but Bianconeri is the only club with which the blogger worked directly so far. In August 2021, Lamey took part in the announcement of Manuel Locatelli's transfer. A year later, he was entrusted with the presentation of Juventus away kit. In the future, we will talk more about Habi's collaborations with players, and in that section, you can further see the blogger's sympathy for Bianconeri. Lamey was also the official ambassador of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. He appeared in a commercial for a Qatari national bank and hung out with the Qatari national team. This is just the tip of the iceberg. The fact that Habi is a big football fan is also confirmed by his huge number of collaborations with various players. These are both advertising collapse and regular videos that Lamey makes for himself. Here, for example, is a joint video with Vinicius Jr., where they teach bold robbers how to properly secure their loot. The second time the Brazilian appeared on the blogger's account, he made a short cameo in training Lamey's signature gesture. The video parody of Squid Game with Zlatan's participation gained more than 220 million views. It looks epic. Moreover, Abra's charisma only makes the video better. Usually I always win, but this time I've waited a year for a worthy opponent. You are king, Habi wrote. On another occasion, Zlatan acted as Habi's defender against a rude man in an orange car. The content we all deserve. To prove the theory about rooting for Juventus, here is Bianconetti's legend Alessandro Del Piero with Habi in his video. The Italian was the first football superstar to visit La May. Soon after, a video with Paola Dybala, who was still a Juve player at the time, was released. But the meeting with Leo Messi was the most emotional for Habi. The blogger was invited to the Argentine's presentation as a PSG player. And when Lamey managed to shake Leo's hand, his expression spoke for himself. The dream of every child. Finally, I met him. A legend, a great player, a wonderful person. I have no words, guys. Look at my face. Habi shared his emotions. In order not to waste time on the trip to Paris, the blogger also taught Ashraf Hakimi and Kylian Mbappe his signature gesture. The guys did quite well. And later, they even celebrated a goal this way. Lemay must have been very pleased. Another day, 
He and Sergio Aguero taught a lesson on pouring cocoa from one vessel to another. The Argentine did a pretty good job. However, Javi suffered a brutal ball strike. Taking a couple of photos with the Ballon d'Or winner? Sure. Seeing Vinicius again? Easy. Judging by the legends Habi has collaborated with and the pleasure he gets from doing so, we can only be happy for the guy. He is living a football fan's dream. But you are probably wondering how well Habi plays football. Almost every fan likes to play the game himself. Finding someone who has only watched football all their life and never played is quite a challenge. It was difficult to get an idea of Habib's overall level. There are only short fragments of the blogger's footwork online, such as this video with PSG players. Here, Lemay failed to handle the pass at first, but then made a good trick and almost fooled Sergio Ramos. Habib also posted this shot from a short distance, which nevertheless shows that he is quite good at shooting. But recently, we got the opportunity to learn about Lemay's skills in a real football game. We mean the celebrity football match, which took place on Orlando on June 23rd this year. This is an exhibition match in which Brazilian football stars Ronaldinho and Roberto Carlos gather their teams and set out to entertain the crowd. The roster of players is impressive. In addition to the team captains, Ronaldo Nazario, Vinicius Jr., Paulo Dybala, Cafu and others could be seen there. Habib was also invited. There is no phrase to express how I felt when I was sitting in the living room and my friend tells me. We received an email, but you will not believe it. You will go to play a soccer game and you will be the only non-pro to play with the legends. I still don't believe it. Until today, I had only played on PlayStation with these legends. Lamey recalled that moment. So, in this game we could see more. It should be noted that Lamey played for Ronaldinho's team. He was subbed on right after the break. His first action was to receive the ball, make a short run, and pass it to Ronaldinho. Not bad. Next was perhaps the most ridiculous episode involving Javi. He opened up perfectly for a long pass, but lacked the skill to handle the ball. This resulted in such a funny moment. I am proud to be able to tell my kids one day that Ronaldinho made a cross for me and I got the ball in my face. Javi proudly declared after the game. Nice take. Lamey's constant energy is worth noting, as he desperately tried to help his team. Here's a round down the flank and into the free zone. It's a pity that the pass turned out to be inaccurate. At this moment, Javi shows his understanding of football. After receiving the ball, he waited for his partner to arrive and passed it to him. He didn't stop there and made a very smart run into the penalty area. Well done! Another episode saw LeMay handle a long pass, keep the ball and pass it to his partner. Again, he did not stop and made a run to the opponent's goal. So in general, although Habi is not a professional football player, he definitely has an idea of how to play football and understands the game. In the end, Ronaldinho and Habi's team won 4-3. At the beginning of the game, I said to Ronaldinho, make sure if you have to rely on someone, don't pass the ball to me. I'm only good at running. Habi joked after the game. In the end, the main goal of the match, entertaining the fans, was 100% achieved. Friends, please like this video if you enjoy watching celebrities play football. One of the next candidates for the video is an American YouTuber I show speed. So, as soon as this video reaches 1000 likes, we start working. Now, it's up to you. Also, let us know in the comments if you follow Habi LeMay on TikTok. We invite you to watch a video about another celebrity who tried his hand at football, the legendary runner Usain Bolt. This video is now on your screens. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.